Hello friends, this video on neat evolution is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from examfear. Wisman's theory of continuity of germplasm. This theory is also known as the theory of continuity of germplasm. So what is germplasm? So germplasm refers to the protoplasm of germ cells. So germ cells are basically like we have two categories of cells. One is the somatic cells that is the body cells and the other one is the germ cells which refers to the sex cells which participate the cells which participate in the process of reproduction. So they are the germ cells. Right. So the protoplasm of the germ cells is called germplasm and this theory is also called theory of continuity of germplasm given by Wisman. Now what does this theory tells us? So it tells us that there is continuity of germplasm but the somatoplasm is not transmitted to the next generation. Right. So now what is somatoplasm? The somatoplasm refers to the protoplasm of somatic cells. So you have two types of protoplasm. One is the germplasm and the other one is the somatoplasm. So as per this theory it says that the somatoplasm that means the protoplasm of the body cells that doesn't get inherited to the next generations but only the germplasm get inherited to the next generations. So this means that the characters influencing the germ germ cells are only inherited. So only the characters limited to the germ cells, they will only get inherited and the body cells or the somatic cells, they have nothing to do with inheritance. Now, few examples were also given to support this, this theory of continuity of germplasm. For example, the powerful muscles of the wrestler. So are they get do they get transmitted to the next generation? For example, if you know a wrestler who has like, you know, very heavy, powerful muscles. So when a child is born to that wrestler, so will the child also have those powerful muscles by himself? No. So obviously to get those muscles, again, the child need to grow up and need to do a lot of exercise and that's how he will build those muscles. So why is this trait not getting transmitted to the next generation? That's because this is a trait which was acquired by that person during his lifetime. Right. So this was an acquired trait and this trait has nothing to do with the germ cells. So it had only to do with the body cells or the somatic cells. Now the somatic cells do not participate during the process of reproduction but the germ cells do. So therefore the, the traits which are inherited through the germ cells only get passed on to the next generation. The somatic cells has nothing to do with that. So this was one such example. Let us look at one more example. The females often do piercing on their nose or ears. So do you think, so okay, when you do this piercing, what happens? So there is some change in your body, right? And this change is basically a change in the cells of your body. But do you think that this trait gets transmitted to the next generation? No, again, it is not getting transmitted because what's happening here? Here also, this is an acquired trait and it has nothing to do with the germ cells. So therefore, Wisman concluded that only the characters influencing the germ cells get inherited. So in a way, Wisman told that the Lamarck's theory of evolution about the acquired characters is not correct because Lamarck has told that, you know, the acquired traits get inherited. But Wisman with examples proved that the acquired traits do not get inherited to the next generations. So in fact, how did Wisman come up with this um, theory? So what he did was he performed an experiment in which uh, he had cut off tails of rats for 22 generations. Can you imagine? For 22 generations of rat, he continued to cut off the tails of the rats and allowed them to breed. But every time he found that rats with tails were born. So even though he was cutting the tails of the rats, he never found a tailless rat to be born. So why was that? Because the cutting of the tail was something, which was a trait which was acquired by the rat during its lifetime. Moreover, it has nothing to do with the germ cells of the rats. And therefore, this trait was not getting carried, I mean, inherited to the next generations. So this way, Wisman's theory uh, 
told or it, it conveyed this message that the Lamarck's theory of evolution was not correct. Not all the postulates of Lamarck's theory was correct. And only after this Wisman's theory, Lamarck's theory was modified and it, it then came up as the neo-Lamarckism. So the bottom line of Wisman's theory of continuity of germplasm was that acquired traits are never inherited. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.